Hey everyone, I'm Steve. Welcome back to Kettlehaven Ranch. It's March 6th, 2023. And uh, yes, that white snuff behind me is snow. It's cool out, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I was hoping it was going to be a little warmer today, but it isn't. But we need to get pollen patties on and uh, try to get these hives boosted for the upcoming spring. We're two weeks or so out from spring, from equinox. And we're already starting to see some green stuff on the ground. Hopefully we'll have some pollen sources within a month or so for the bees. But we're going to start early, get that queen laying by giving her some spring patties that have pollen in them, pollen patties, to get her going and laying eggs and start building up a population. So we're hitting the ground running here this year. Okay, this first hive is the mean hive. I'm not sure how much they're going to like the cold. Here we go. Population wise, you can see they're up here on the sugar, feeding on the sugar that I put in. And we're just going to move some of the sugar over, I think. Let's get them out of here. Come on, girls. Down you go. We still have the spacer on. Try to get them to go down. And I do have just a simple pollen patty. Whoop, get him over here. going to do is I'm going to leave the sugar in for now. Just move it over a little bit. You can see where they've been eating through the sugar. And man oh man do we got a good population here. I'm very happy with this. So on your pollen patties be sure and score them without cutting yourself. And we're going to take this and move it over here just a little bit. I'm just going to put that down there, just like that. That way they can get in and start chewing on that pollen patty. What I have here, if you can recall how I do this, I don't think I did a video this last fall, but this is my typical setup. I have a little two inch spacer. I have just a simple sheet of newspaper with white granular sugar. And uh, yeah, it sort of has caked itself a little bit, still a little granular. And um, I put holes, slice holes in the newspaper a little bit, put the sugar on top. They've obviously been up here eating off of it and seeming to enjoy it. So now we'll give them some pollen there. And I'll show you my other trick I do too. Right now, as they're starting to realize the top's open, I'm going to get them back down. So I have the inner cover on top of the spacer. So this deep is full of straw, and we've used that over the winter as insulation and also to absorb moisture. Worked out well. I'm really happy with what we saw here. Let's move to the next hive. Okay, we got that popped. Let's do this. Um, if you'll also notice, I actually put insulation in this year on the hives. I'm glad I did. I did this when I heard we were going to have minus 40 and minus 50 wind chill, which we did have for about a week. So I'm very happy I did that because I believe that's the only reason the hives have survived to this point. Okay, let's open this guy up.
whoops, forgot about the straw on that inner cover. And look at this. Plenty of girls out here running around. Just about out of sugar. So comparing hives, the previous hive we had sugar um, still a lot left over, indicating they had a lot of honey. This hive, huh, that's it. So good thing. I'm really happy I'm out here. Let's try to get them down a bit. Of course, the smoke is making them eat up some of the honey reserves they have. But we're going to make up for it by giving them more food back. Population-wise, it looks awesome. So I'm just going to make some straight slices in my pollen patty so they can get into it. And it looks like that they're all over on this side. I'm going to set that right there. We'll be cleaning up the hives later in the year when it's warmer out. We'll get these girls back on. This one didn't have a spacer, so that's what threw me off. There we go there. Let's get our straw back up for now. And then the top cover. And we're on to the next hive. See how quick that was? Um, at these temperatures, we really want to be in and out as fast as we can. Here we are at hive number three. And once again, I can't see the camera because of the glare. So we'll hope for the best. My apologies if it comes out a little wonky. Let's see. Let's open this up. See how these ones are doing? Oh, look at that. And the same thing. Look at the population we got. That looks really good. But they have eaten up most of their stores here. And the extra sugar I put on last fall, just about gone. That would indicate that it's a real good time. And if I would have known that they were this far into their sugar, I definitely would have taken, well, they're waking up here. Let's get them back to sleep. I definitely would have brought more pollen patties, but um, I'll be out here looking at them. <clears throat> in about two weeks, we'll get back in. We know this will get them that far, so that's good. Okay, whoops, ice. So slide across the ice here. Another creator on YouTube, uh, Rodney Middleton, we'll give a shout out to him. Hey Rodney. Um, he's worried about getting sunburnt right now over where he's at with his bees. They just got their first swarm the other day, which is sort of neat. But uh, 
I don't think he has to worry about sliding on ice right now. Let's get these girls closed up. They're even into the straw. I didn't realize this. But they're all the way up. Woo! In the insulative box, that deep that I have up above in inner cover, that's very interesting. So good for them. They look really healthy and there's a lot there. Let's move on to the final one I had out, uh, hive number four. Alrighty, here we are, hive number four. Break into it. I can hear them in there, they know we're coming. So here's hive number four. It does not have a spacer. I wonder why it didn't do that. Well, as you can see, we got, uh, we got lots of bees in there. Another healthy, healthy hive. They've gone through a lot of their stores here, their winter, or I should say fall feeding that's lasted this long. Let's take a look actually here. Yeah, they got this one really locked up. I'm going to go over, give them a shot to get them down. They seem to be over on these ones, these frames, which is an outside frame, which is probably all sugar and honey. They will take the sugar down and store it, but I think Beautiful. So that's four for four. Okay, I want to show you something else I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I didn't do the pollen here, but I took out one of my uh, nuke boxes and went ahead and just put a couple of frames full of honey from some dead outs uh, last year that I'd saved. And that's out here for the bees to get a hold of. And they've been using it already. Now, I'm not worried about doing it this time of year. I haven't seen any hornets yet or yellow jackets. Once I start seeing the yellow jackets, I'll take this away because it'll just be a magnet for them. We also have um, a lot of ultra bee. As you've guys seen in other videos, I like to get the pollen substitute out to the bees early to get that queen lane. So I've already done that. It's out here and uh, ready for the bees to come and get it. I've seen a few landing on already with 40 degree temperatures. They're already really amped up to get moving on springtime. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you like our content, check out our apiary playlist if you haven't already. And uh, look at some of the other stuff on our channel. Subscribe if you like it. Sure appreciate it. And we'll be back out here in probably two weeks, weather permitting, and check in, see how they're doing, see what's left of the patties. Everyone, take care. Stay safe.